Welcome to Investing Path. Today's bustling consumer era, we're constantly enticed by the latest and greatest products. But what if I told you there's a wiser approach? Think of Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of our time. When his first child arrived, he creatively reused a dresser as a crib. For his second, he borrowed one. The lesson? It's not about owning new, but about smartly utilizing what's available. Before you're tempted to splurge, glance around. Could you repurpose something? Maybe borrow? It's an alternative worth exploring. Now, here's a habit that dents both health and pocket, smoking. Not only does it rob you of good health, but it's also costly. Buffett never gave in to this vice. If he could resist in an era where smoking was the norm, you might consider giving it a second thought too. And while on the topic of habits, let's talk about junk food. Yes, Buffett may enjoy his McDonald's, but it's his main meal. Many indulge in junk over their regular meals. Moderation is key. Savoring that chocolate or chips after a week's hard work? Go for it. But remember moderation. In our pursuit of worldly goods, we often overlook our most valuable asset, ourselves. As Buffett rightly says, the best investment is in yourself. It's not just about accumulating wealth, but knowledge. Why not deep dive into financial independence? Channels like Investing Path offer a wealth of information. And speaking of wealth, if you're enjoying our content, don't forget to hit subscribe. Gambling, the mere thrill can get many hooked. But what's the real cost? Remember, it's all fun and games until savings are squandered. If you're fond of the gamble, budget for it. Otherwise, the costs can stack up. Tempted to dine out after a long day? Convenience has its price. Home-cooked meals aren't just healthier but are lighter on the wallet. Modern appliances make it easier than ever. The savings? Substantial. In today's world, there's an endless array of personal care products. But how many do we genuinely need? Buffett's minimalistic approach highlights that sometimes less truly is more. Scrutinize what you genuinely require. Every little saving adds up. The digital era has brought along a multitude of subscriptions. Are you using them all? Regularly reassess. Money saved from unused subscriptions can be channeled elsewhere. New Year, new resolutions. Many aim for better health, but falter on the gym commitment. If you're not using that membership, consider more flexible alternatives. New car, while enticing, aren't always the wisest financial decision. Depreciation hits hard. Buffett himself drives a used car. It's food for thought. Similarly, high-end brands might lure you with their charm. But Buffett's choice of tailoring reveals the essence of value. Quality doesn't always come with a brand name. The tech world sees rapid innovations, but do we need every latest device? Think of it as an investment, not just a purchase. With every new release, weigh the true cost, bars, restaurants, and the allure of a good drink. It's easy to rack up a hefty bill. Buffett avoids this altogether. If you enjoy a drink, plan it into your budget or find economical ways to indulge. Moving on, vacation. They're wonderful, refreshing, and an absolute necessity in our busy lives. However, Consider this. Buffett often opts for simple, low-cost vacations, understanding the essence of relaxation without overspending. Sometimes, a staycation or a local getaway can offer the same rejuvenation without the hefty price tag. Dealing with home improvement? Before you embark on hiring an expensive contractor, evaluate if it's something you can DIY or learn to do. The internet is filled with tutorials and lessons. Not only can you save money, but you'll also acquire a new skill, echoing Buffett's ideology of investing in oneself. Let's talk shopping. Impulsive shopping can be a budget killer. Ever thought of the 24-hour rule? Before making a large purchase, give it a day. Often, the urge fades, helping you differentiate between a want and a need. Buffett's frugal approach isn't about deprivation, but rather making intentional decisions. When it comes to housing, bigger isn't always better. Buffett lives in the same home he bought in 1958. While the idea isn't to never upgrade, it's essential to evaluate the genuine need versus the societal pressure of owning a massive estate. Insurance is a domain where many of us overspend due to a lack of research. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is deeply involved in insurance, stressing its importance. Yet, it's essential to understand your actual needs. Over-insuring or pilling on unnecessary policies is as bad as being underinsured. Clothing is another area where we often splurgy. However, it's not about having a vast wardrobe, but versatile,
timeless pieces. Buffett, despite his wealth, is rarely seen in extravagant attire. Quality over quantity always wins. Entertainment is an essential part of our lives. Still, do we need to splurge on every new movie, concert, or theater show? Why not explore free or low-cost community events, home movie nights, or local performances? As Buffett often stresses, value isn't always about price, but the joy derived from an experience. Borrowing money is tempting, especially with the plethora of credit offers floating around. But remember Buffett's golden rule. Do not save what is left after spending. Instead, spend what is left after saving. Avoid debts unless absolutely necessary and always have a plan for repayment. In this digital age, we're inundated with influencers flaunting luxury lifestyles, subtly pressuring us to emulate them. However, it's prudent to remember that appearances can be deceiving. While some might genuinely afford these lifestyles, many live beyond their means, funded by debts and fleeting fame. Buffett's lifestyle stands in stark contrast. He proves that success isn't gauged by flamboyance but by wisdom in decisions, consistency in actions, and integrity in character. Peer pressure, even in adulthood, can be overwhelming. Friends buying new homes, colleagues flaunting designer bags, neighbors driving the latest cars, it's easy to get sucked into a comparison vortex. But drawing inspiration from Buffett, it's crucial to chart our own path, free from societal expectations. Our financial journey should be a marathon, not a sprint. Consistency trumps speed. Moreover, the true essence of life isn't found in material possessions, but in the richness of experiences, relationships, and personal growth. Buffett, despite his immense wealth, values relationships often attributing his success to the people around him. In wrapping up, let's remember that while money is a useful tool, it's not an end in itself. Adopting a Buffett-esque perspective could mean finding greater fulfillment, purpose, and happiness in life. We should aspire not just for a richer wallet, but a richer soul. It's easy to get swayed by society's siren song of constant consumerism, but there's immense power in embracing simplicity. Buffett, with his modest living, teaches us the beauty of valuing intangibles over materialistic pursuits. Every dollar spent is not just currency exchanged, but an investment of time, effort, and life's moments. Before making impulsive purchases, it's worth pausing and asking, is this truly adding value to my life? Moreover, with global concerns like environmental degradation, adopting a mindful approach to consumption isn't just beneficial for our wallets, but for our planet too. By being more intentional, not only do we honor our hard work, but we also contribute to a sustainable future. Choices rooted in wisdom and foresight can lead to a life filled with purpose and contentment. Before we wrap up, let's address the elephant in the room, credit card debt. Remember, credit is a tool, not free money. Use it wisely. Learn from Buffett. Sometimes cash is king. To wrap it up, True financial mastery is about making conscious choices. If you found value in our insights today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Investing Path for more enlightening content.